Welcome to my kitchen. Juicing with fresh fruits and vegetables has so many health benefits. It's really an important key in regaining your health and vitality as well as helping you stay healthy. You see, juicing allows us to get many therapeutic benefits and nutritional properties from our foods that we don't get from eating them alone because it actually extracts those vital nutrients out of the food. You know, when your system is immune compromised, such as when you have cancer, diabetes, or the autoimmune diseases, it's hard for the digestion process to break down the food and release the vital nutrients. Juicing is such an important topic that I'm going to do it in two parts. Today we'll go through the general health benefits of juicing and we'll look at different types of juicers and just what they can do for you. Now you might say to me, Cindy, I have a blender. Doesn't that do the same thing? Well, while it's nice to have a blender and a juicer, no, it doesn't do the same thing. You see, a juicer separates the solid from the liquid, leaving the pulp behind, while a blender grinds the whole food into small particles, leaving the pulp intact. Most of the nutritional value is stored in the cellulose of the plant. Juicing unlocks the mechanism, allowing for full absorption without us having to digest them first. That's why you need to drink the juice within 15 minutes of making it. That way our bodies absorb the powerful vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and essential nutrients that can be lost in the digestion of the whole food. This gives our cells immediate nutrition to aid in healing. And yes, fiber is vitally important, but we can get that in other ways. Or you can add the pulp back into the juice before you drink it if you want. Or better yet, put it in your compost pile and give it back to Mother Earth. You will, however, need a good solid blender for shakes or to mix soft fruits with the juice for an amazing healthy drink. There are basically two types of juicers on the market that you can get, the centrifugal type and the auger ejection type. We're going to talk about the centrifugal type first. Okay, this one is this guy right here in front of me. This works by spinning at very high speeds. And you'll see down inside this, there's a plate on the bottom. It takes the food and grinds it against this plate, throwing the pulp against the side, separating out the juice. This type can be fairly easy to be used, but be careful. You can't put mushy items through it, and it doesn't do wheatgrass very well. It works the best on the hard fruits and vegetables like carrots, beets, apples, etc. It's very easy to use. I'm going to show you now. It comes with these neat little filters, kind of like a coffee filter. It's a really, really thin biodegradable paper. You just put that against the drum, and I might add that you don't have to have these filters, but it sure makes for easy cleanup. So you just put that filter in, and then you put the top on, make sure that you lock it in place, and most of these are really neat, they have a safety mechanism. They won't go on if you don't have it locked in place. Well, let's do some beets and a Granny Smith apple to show you how it works. This is going to be noisy, so here we go. We'll turn it on and get it going, I'll talk to you in just a sec. We'll get the beets in there, push it down. And then a couple apples. Isn't that just beautiful? Then for cleanup, you just throw out the pulp with the that little liner that I showed you, and you could actually take that liner and put it right in the compost, it's fine. But you do need to stop and change that filter between doing types of juices or if you're doing a large quantity, because it does fill up and get kind of clogged up. You know, this one was rather loud, as you heard, but it works really fast. It's medium priced and readily available at kitchen stores everywhere. But remember, it doesn't do the leafy greens so well. Well, now let's review the auger ejection type juicer. This guy's quite a bit more expensive and is really a workhorse. It works by turning this auger that you see, chopping and takes the pulp and grinds it up, chops it up, extracts the juice out against a strainer down here on the bottom, and then the pulp comes out the front. It's great for all the hard fruits and vegetables, as well as wheatgrass and the leafy greens, and for making nut butters, baby food, even sorbet and pasta. I'm going to turn it on now because I want to show you how slowly that blade is turning. You see how it's just a little slow grind? 
Well, that allows for the pulping of wheatgrass and spinach without causing oxidation. That's the important part for this type of juicer. The high-speed juicers can't do that. Even though this one can, it can clog, so it's recommended to push the leafy greens through with celery or carrots, giving you a chlorophyll-rich drink. And the greens with their detoxifying properties are definitely the most desired for those wanting to boost their immunity. However, they can be strong, so you'll be glad to dilute them with another vegetable. I'm going to juice some wheatgrass for you with some celery to show you how this one works. Okay, this here we go. This is going to be a little noisy, not quite as bad. So I'll take some wheatgrass that I have just snipped. We'll put in here. Sometimes it'll grab it and take it, sometimes it doesn't. So you just kind of push that down with a plunger and then you follow it with celery and then you'll see it going through. And you see that coming out. Get some celery in here. This one works really well, but it is time consuming a little bit. Get some more wheat in there. And now some celery. And you'll see that coming out the bottom. This is so, so healthy. Now you see the wheatgrass coming out the front. That's why I have two reservoirs on this one. One catches the pulp. And that is what's so good just to put in your compost pile. All right. Get another stick of celery here. There we go. Isn't that neat? This is the most recommended type of juicer by the professionals. However, a lot of people will complain because they find it difficult to clean and kind of to be a mess. And if it's not easy for you, you're not going to do it. I found this brand to be not only safe and easy to use, but very easy to clean and then put back together again. Well, now let's talk about the fruits and vegetables that are good for juicing. It's best to buy your produce that's both in season and regional, both for the quality of the produce and for the digestion and assimilation of the nutrients. You know, God intended for us to pick our food in and then eat it. Not send it halfway around the world unripened and then introduce strange bacteria and chemicals in our bodies that we're not used to digesting. That's not to say you can't have exotic fruits if you're healthy. We're saying if your system is compromised, how you need to build it back. Buy your produce three to four days ahead for ripening and for freshness. This does mean you have to go to the market a couple times a week. But try to buy organic if you can, because when we juice, we don't peel most of the vegetables. It's a well-known fact. All the other produce is sprayed with pesticides and chemical additives. So many nutrients are just below the surface. If you peel them, you lose them. Of course, we peel melons, winter squash, and citrus fruits, but then you're going to need a good vegetable wash. I like to fill the sink with cool water, put in a couple drops of veggie wash, scrub my vegetables, rinse, chop, and juice away. And I tell you, it's so easy. There's not a wrong way to juice. Just be creative. You can pick the combinations I showed you today. Let your taste be your guide. Just be sure you start out slow because you don't want to get too much too fast especially if you're immune compromised as you can see juicing is a very important health topic one that's definitely worthy of discussion I hope you've enjoyed learning the benefits of juicing today and watch for juicing part two when I'll go through juicing recipes with specific health conditions in mind such as juicing for the cancer patient juicing for the diabetic and juicing for general immunity for information on juicing, go to HealthyCookieWithCindy.com and you'll find information on juicers, on wheatgrass, all kinds of tips to get you juicing. Thank you so much for being with me today. Please stay tuned because we're going to be right back after these messages.